Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Mai Li. This is my traditional Chinese home build. And as you guys see here, I am putting up the walls to go inside the Chinese house. And as a child growing up watching a lot of Chinese movie, I like always imagine myself living in a Chinese house. So I decided to build it in my Sims house. Oh, and the reason why I'm building this now is because Monday is Chinese New Year. Yay! And it, I believe it is the year of the monkey. So, growing up in an Asian family, you watch a lot of Chinese movie. So, I was like always imagining myself living in a Chinese house and all that jazz. And so, I was like, you know what? Just like the Ewok house, why not just build me a Chinese house too? So here I am building the main entrance into the courtyard. Trying to figure out the, um, whatchamacallit here, the ceiling, the roof. And then I have to raise this because in The Sims 4, if you move your walls up, and then you have to have the foundation, so that's why I decided to do it like this. And plus, I think it all worked out at the end anyways, because I used those decks to go into the other rooms. And I thought it came out really nice. And I believe if you guys download this house, it might look a little bit different than it is in this video because I added some more stuff like decoration and all that stuff and I didn't show it in here because after I was done I decided I was like you know what I think it could have it could have a little bit more decoration and so I decided to go decorate it before I download it so the description will be I mean yeah all the information will be down in the description is what I meant to say and you guys can just download this house if you guys want it for Chinese New Year. And it will be hashtag Miley's house. That's what I hashtag all my house as. And here in this part over here, I am making the pavilion. Because you know in a lot of Chinese house, like watching movies growing up and getting my ideas from that because... I am not Chinese or have never been to China. I just kind of reference it off of pictures and looking and watching movies. So I thought this was a really cute idea where they always have like a bridge over a pond or, you know, just a little stream to go to a pavilion where they play their, is it a call? I don't know, that little harp thing. Or to, you know, go dance and have drinks, tea, and whatever else. So I decided to put that there for The Sims. And for The Sims, is actually for their art. I put some easel over there for them to paint. And some chess tables for them to go play chess. And I thought it was really nice. And as you guys can see there on the right, it's starting to come up. Those are the room. So when you enter, you will enter into a courtyard and then the house will split into, you know, three sides. So the front will be the main part of the house and then the two sides will be to the bedrooms and the bathrooms. Because if you look at the, some of the layout of chi uh, traditional Chinese home, that's how it is. They will like have the kitchens on the side or, you know, another courtyard to go into another place where... Like if they have a lot of wife, you know, wife number one sleep in the courtyard on the left, and wife number two sleep on the courtyard on the never on the left, right, all that good stuff. But right here, I am trying to make a bridge to go to the pavilion, and this part was a PIA. And if you guys do not know what PIA is, then I believe you could ask somebody. But it took me a while because I tried to do it this way and I was like, well, that just kind of looked lame. It doesn't look nice. And then so I took it off and I tried to take out the bottom there. And it just wouldn't let me put the bridge on. Because it seems like every time I put the bridge on and then I take the bottom out, and then it disappeared. And I was like, well, I want it to go over the water because it have a pathway under it. Then what's the use of having 
a bridge, right? They could just use that pathway. So I kept messing with it and I, you know, figured it out eventually. And it's not as awesome looking as I want it to be, but I still think it came out looking good because if it had like where you could lower the bridge I think it would have looked really nice but it still came out looking really nice and uh, usable so I just had to adjust stuff here and there and while I was building this I actually was watching a ancient Chinese drama that's what it was labeled under and boy, wasn't it the most disturbing movie ever. Like, it was pretty sad. It was really sad. And it was, I don't know how to explain it. But you guys can check it out if you guys want to watch it. I believe it's called The Journey of the Flower. Journey to the Flower. Journey of the Flower. Journey something. Just look it up. It was, it was kind of like a good movie at first, I believe. And then it got to like a very sad part like those movie growing up watching it It was you know never happy movie anyway, so I don't know what I was thinking But but if you are a sad person you shouldn't watch that kind of movie just letting you know because you will get really sad in this movie But I didn't really cry until almost towards the end well almost towards the end Well, I didn't really cry until the last part I believe but I shouldn't give away too much. Anyways, so to the right over there, I decided to put a kitchen. And because I made the kitchen really big because I kind of think of it like um, a person found this, you know, house. And this house was kind of like middle class. So they did kind of have servant. So the kitchen's kind of big because they did have servant cooking for them and all that jazz. So the eating place is on the outside and the kitchen's on the inside and it's just ancient China meat, modern China all together. So you guys will see like the structure and everything is kind of ancient China and then the um, stuff inside is kind of like modern day furniture, sort of all that stuff. And of course right here, you guys see this craziness right here? This is my enemy. Because if you guys have been watching my build, you guys know I do not do roof. I do not like roofs at all. At least, I th I think I'm getting better at it though. I think I'm getting better at it because uh, my new one that I just built, I did it really fast. But this part actually took me a long time trying to figure it out. And once I figured it out, I was like, you know what? That was so simple. Why did I take forever just trying to figure all that stuff out? So right here, I'm just making more room for the bath, for more like the bedrooms and such. And I decided that the courtyard wasn't big enough, so I decided to move it back a little bit more and make the courtyard a little bit bigger because that's what it's all about. Like it's really if you watch, you know, Chinese movie like I do, you really see that. They really like show off their landscaping. It's really pretty. So I was like, you know what? I need to make this courtyard a little bit bigger. And so that's why I decided to move it back and make the courtyard a little bit bigger. And, you know, so I have more room to decorate because a small courtyard is just kind of lame. But you can have a small courtyard if you want to. I'm just letting you know. But it's just my opinion. So don't hate on my opinion. And yeah, if you don't like this build, Please don't let me know. I'm just kidding. But yeah, this is just me looking at pictures and watching movies and, you know, just putting my ideas out there. So don't you know, be like, hey, you did that wrong. That's not who it is. And, you know, hey, you did it or whatever. Like, don't go telling me that I didn't do it right because I've never been to China. And, you know. I've, you know, I'm not Chinese. I have, well, I have a little bit of Chinese background and whatever else. So I'm just going by pictures and going by movies. And, you know, just like us, a lot of us Americans, not everything in movies represent us. And so I believe not everything in movies represent all Chinese people too. But this is just my idea for The Sims. 
because it, I just thought it was really pretty. Like, whenever you watch a movie as a child, don't you ever pretend you're like, oh, I'm gonna live here, you know? This is my house, and it has this and this and this. Don't you guys ever do that? Like, play house, and like, oh, my house is like this, and this, and this, this. And that's how I used to imagine it. So, as Sims is just playing house in real life. I mean, not real life, but like digital. But, you know, you actually get to see your house, how it's supposed to look like. And how you wanted to decorate it instead of just imagine it in your head like you know as a kid but as you guys can see here I have the floors going down like that and I think I bring it up later but I decided to separate you guys see that they have like little rooms in between and you guys will see the picture pop up every now and then because it's just for me to kind of have an idea what I was kind of doing even though I didn't totally copy that picture I just kind of like want to have an idea because here snoring is my husband sleeping, falling asleep on the couch. But anyways, um, here, yeah, I really like this idea, the three tiers of the main building. I thought it was a really cute idea, you know, to kind of show off because people can't really see through the main gate. So you kind of want to show off your building. So you want to make kind of a tall building to show it off. And we are back to my worst enemy called Roof. Anyways, so those buildings over there, like I was talking about earlier, I decided to separate them so I could make the roof a little bit better and nicer looking. And then uh, just like bunching them all together, if that makes any sense. You guys will see what I'm talking about when, when I do them. And uh, um, if you guys are watching this right now, you're going to be like, well, this is just a building and whatever else. It's because the mo the movie, the build was so long that I had to separate it. Or this video would have been like taking forever to download. So I had to separate the build from the decorating again. I didn't really like it. I, you know, I was like, are you serious? I was hoping to just make it one video, but I couldn't because I didn't want to cut everything out and you guys didn't get to see or have an idea just in case some of you guys decided to make your own, you know what I mean? So you guys could have an idea be like, oh, so that's how she did it. So I'm going to try that. Does that make any sense? Even though probably some of you guys are probably more talented than me because I just got The Sims 4 like right before Christmas. And so I just been building like crazy, practicing and playing with it and whatever else. So I think I'm doing a lot better. I'm learning a lot and I'm still finding stuff like, oh my gosh, I should have used that. And I should have used that. Like, especially decoration. I found a few more stuff after I finished this so I think I'm gonna build another one because I'm like oh that's a brilliant idea I should have used that and I should have used that so I might build another Chinese um traditional home just because on probably on a bigger lot just so I could have garden space you know you guys know what I mean like a bigger pond or you know that's kind of a swimming pool but I use it as a pond but we'll have a bigger one and you know a, you guys will see what i'm talking about i will have a, a different one coming out it's because i just got get together is it called get together yeah and i'm so hooked on it around i'm just playing it like crazy but here i'm trying to do this silly roof yeah and i'm like oh what are you doing but i thought it came out really cute like these little thing here you know that they always have the little roof and then it looks really cute but here it is me trying to put the rest of the roof on on the house and there's a lot of walkway of course okay uh i forgot what i was talking about because my husband was sleeping and snoring very loud so i had to go like tell him to go to the bedroom because he fell asleep on the couch and i forgot what i was talking about see you see, I got distracted, that's what it is. But I don't know if I color the, oh yeah, I did. I colored the house in this one. I just didn't know if I separated it right or not. I can't wait to show you guys the inside because it is so beautiful. Like, I totally fell in love with it. I love the inside, you guys. It is like, you guys, then, like, those of you guys that watch Chinese movies, you guys know what I'm talking about like the inside of the house where 
you know, in those Chinese movies where they always have the bed on the side and all that cool stuff. That's what I did in this inside, and I thought it looked so awesome. But here I am messing with this over here again because I didn't like that the bridge came. I mean, the stairs came down like right and like that, and then. I just feel like if you are stepping down and the roof is like that, then your head is going to hit the roof. Does that make any sense? Like when you're going down the steps, your head is going to hit that roof going down if you're like six feet or whatever. But I just had to leave it. I just had to leave it because if that works, then why mess with it, right? Because it's just the Sims. It's going to work for the Sims. Then just leave it. But, yeah, I think this part is so much roofing. My worst enemy, serious, like, yeah, my worst enemy is roofing. But I'm just, like, if you guys will constantly see me saving it and looking at it, because I'm just trying to, like, put all the ideas together, like, okay, does this work? Does that work? Does it look nice enough? Is that how I like it? Because I don't just imagine myself living here i kind of imagine my sims like if i'm playing my sims and i'm looking at it from this point of view you know do i like it do i not does that make any sense to you guys it makes sense to me uh, but here i am putting these poles up because if you guys know if you guys look at some of the pictures or movies, you guys will see that they have a lot of these pole, poles, podium, whatever, sticks sticking out. I don't know what they're called. I forgot what they're called. But yeah, I think it looked really nice. I just put steps up and then doors. Of course, you need doors. So over here on this side will be a bedroom and a bathroom and then... Oh, there's only two bathrooms. I love So this house is two bathrooms, three bedrooms. Yeah. One of the bathrooms is upstairs. So, and it has no doors. So if somebody walk upstairs and see you, your Sims, then ta ta ta. You might want to put a door. I don't know. I just decided to do it that way because it was really small. You guys just watch. You guys will see what I'm talking about. But I decided to color the um the house like this. Because the current movie that I was watching had that color. And I thought it was really cute. And then I was like, you know what? But uh, red is like a lucky color. It brings you luck and, you know, good fortune and all that stuff. So I decided to use red on the outside because I thought it would like, because it's for, you know, Chinese New Year. I'm building this for Chinese New Year too and it's going to have a lot of red around the Chinese New Year time. So I decided to make it red on the outside. And then I believe I made the main building red too. And I thought it came out really 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 nice i originally wanted to build something like this in the sims 3 and i uh, you know uh if you guys play the sims 3 and you guys have world adventure it has a lot of these you know kind of stuff in it so that's i wanted to build you know a something like this in the sims 3 and then my sim 3 crashed so i never got to it and so i never got to use all that cool stuff to build something like this so when i was building this i was like oh my gosh they don't have a lot of stuff you know they don't have a lot of um chinese stuff or japanese stuff or you know asian stuff period in the, uh, the sims 4 well not just yet and i was like well this just sucks like it doesn't, you know, how am I supposed to do this? And I just kind of made it work. And who knows, maybe in the future when they do come up with something like that, I will build another one and make it look more, you know, nice and whatever else. And I do not know a lot about feng shui. Feng shui and I had to look up feng shui before I could figure it out. And... Yeah, I had to look up feng shui just so I could kind of have an idea. But I don't even think I put any feng shui in here anyways. But I thought, um, this, yeah, I was going to just put it all path. 
But then I was like, well, that's just defeat the purpose of having a nice courtyard, you know? And you gotta have a garden space and whatever else. So I was like, okay, let's put some of these green cube, leave some of these cube in here and, you know, make it a little bit garden. Because, you know, when you walk into um, a courtyard like this, you want to have that vibe, like, that really nice vibe like oh okay you know i'm in this beautiful house and it has this b b nice beautiful vibe i really like it here so that's what i did here and i tried to use these trees and it made me so mad you guys see how humongous it is yeah what is this did you guys know that not all cherry trees are big like, why can't you guys make smaller cherry trees so I could use cherry blossom trees in my yard? Even though I think more cherry blossoms are usually used more in Japanese garden. But I thought it was, you know, an Asian themed thing. It was really cute. And I wanted to put it in here, but it was too humongous. So I didn't get to put it in here. So I used those Christmas light thingy majiki there. So if you guys... Oh, it's free anyways. I was like, if you guys didn't update it and you guys don't have it, then it won't show up in your download. But it should because everybody should have got it for free. But here I am just putting the flowers and such out. Working on the exterior. Um, You guys know like before I when I first started building I didn't really like the exterior stuff like I didn't really like to do it I didn't really like to decorate I but now I'm like so into it because I'm, tr I'm trying to learn how to grow my own garden and work on that kind of stuff and you know decorate my house make my yard look nicer so I was like you know what I'm gonna practice in the sim does that make any sense oh and these willows you guys say that if you guys look at Chinese um gardens and all that stuff they are really big on willows and i believe yeah there are a lot of willows in china and i was kind of mad that that willow tree was too big and i couldn't put it anywhere to use so yeah i didn't get to use a lot of the stuff i wanted to use so i just try to make it work not make any sense just use what i got and what i can put in here and i think i change it here in a bit yeah, I, um, I decided, yeah, I put these flowers out and all that stuff, and I was like, well, it's just too much, so I had to delete it all and put rocks out and just, you know, decorate it a little bit, because I thought I was like, it's too much flowery, it's not a flower garden, it's a courtyard, if it was like a backyard, you know, the flower garden, or, you know, their actual garden in the backyard of a pavilion, then... I would do that, but I was like, this is a courtyard, it's a main front yard, going to the other places and stuff, you don't want it to look too busy, so that's why I decided to change it and make it look just a little bit more simpler, and I thought it came out really nice. I really liked it, if you guys don't like it, and when you guys download it, you guys could just change the decoration, it doesn't hurt my feelings any, just send me pictures, I would love to see pictures of when you guys use this house, or redecorate it and all that good stuff, but this video should be coming here to an end soon, I'm just putting the rest of the rock up, and just putting dirt down, so I hope you guys like this video, please give it a thumb up if you like it, subscribe for more um building video comes out every friday part two of this will come out tomorrow because chinese new year is monday and i wanted it to get out before chinese new year so i hope you guys will have a good day and a good night wherever you guys live and happy chinese new year so uh, bye oh and enjoy this screenshots too and let me know what you guys think Bye!